Hi, welcome back to Crock-Pot Empire. I'm Kimberly Bishop, and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making pizza pasta in the Crock-Pot Express multi-cooker. This is the perfect, easy weeknight meal that both kids and adults will love. So come on and join me. Let's get cooking pizza pasta. We're gonna start off by pressing the brown saute button, adding a tablespoon of butter to the inner pot, letting that melt down a little. Then we'll add some Italian seasoning, some garlic, and we're just gonna mix it all around until it's fragrant, about 30 seconds or so. And then we'll add our Italian sausage. We'll start breaking that up a little bit, give it a generous seasoning of salt and pepper, and then we'll let it cook through until it's no longer pink. Instead of using the spatula, I'm going to grab my handy dandy silicone meat chopper. This is such an amazing kitchen tool. It is so helpful when you're browning meat and trying to break it apart. I will link it down below in case you want to get one. And we'll just keep chopping and breaking up that meat until it is cooked through. And now we're going to add the star of the show to this pizza pasta, pizza sauce. A little bit of marinara. And you can't have pizza pasta without the pasta. You're going to need one box of your favorite pasta. Today I'm using penne, but basically any type of larger noodle in this recipe will work just fine. Add in three and a half cups of water. Give it a nice big stir, making sure all of those noodles are covered. And then if you want to make this a supreme pizza pasta, feel free to add in any additional ingredients like mushrooms, black olives, or green peppers. Place the lid on lock. Make sure your valve is set to the ceiling position. Press the steam button. Adjust the time to five minutes. And press start. And when the timer goes off, do an immediate release. Open up the lid. And you have perfectly cooked pizza pasta. But wait, we're not done here yet. We have to have pepperonis and cheese. Because what would a pizza be without pepperonis and cheese? So we're going to add half of our pepperonis and half of our mozzarella. Give that a nice big stir until well combined. Add on more pepperonis and one more layer of cheese. Because guess what? If you've been around here long enough, you know I love cheese. The cheesier, the better. Place the lid back on for about 10 to 15 minutes to let that extra cheese melt. And dive in. Yum. Look at that pizza pasta. It is so yummy, y'all. This is definitely one you want to try. If you like this video, please go give it a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to become a part of the Crock-Pot Empire family. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you never miss an episode. And let's get social. Come find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, where I'm always posting my life, favorite products, and even more recipes. Thanks so much for watching. See you right back here next time on Crock-Pot Empire.